Well, this isn't quite the video I had planned. Uh, nothing, nothing wrong, nothing scary. I had planned another on the bench. Well, this isn't going to be an on the bench. You see, the Trojan's not on the bench. Um, Trojan was uh, worked on at the club, on the bay. So, what follows is, I'm going to narrate over it, is the running repair <laughs> that we've made. Yeah, it's different, to say the least. So, let's get... Right, so we're already a step in by this point. Um, I'm not going to say what happens. You'll see what the problem is in a minute. So we've dropped, let the rod go from the front, the little end in the crosshead. Very easy. Just undo the nut, the nut stud that moves the lubricator. Half undo it, give it a tap, move the rods to the top, take it right out, push the bolt through, and it actually comes from the back. Drop it down. Undo the Allen bolt that goes into the rear drive pin and slide the whole thing off. Right, so with that out of the way, and so up on the running boards, uh, we're gonna go for the same on the front. Is it just stick an Allen key in that bolt through the washer and unwind it. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't take a lot. And, and drop the Allen key as a bonus. But as you see, it comes out quite easy. Luckily, on the, on the little o for o and to this design, dropping the rods is quite quick. It doesn't take long. Uh, we'll give it a little, a little wiggle off. Just have a feel of the play and wearing it and taking the opportunity. Not very often you can give these a little wiggle. And we'll set that aside. Remember what way round it was. Right, points up. Who can guess what the problem is here? Okay, with the rods off, you can see the balls do funny things. Oh, but what was that? You need to wind the brake out of the way, the brake block. And you'll see what the issue is. Oops, that's not supposed to happen. Hmm. There's a problem. Uh, well, you can give it a bit of a clean now. This is just brake and clutch cleaner. I don't know why I have filmed it on its side again. This is just degreasing it. And now all cleaned up and reassembled with a bit of Loctite on there this time. Key pushed back in, the key was fine. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the axle or the wheel. Just some oil had got in there and uh, without any previous Loctite, it was it was gonna fall off. And now it's time to reassemble. Um, reassembly, reassembly is the opposite of removal in the words of a certain motoring manual. Um, but this does kind of prove how easy poly locos are to work on, which was why I wanted to record this process, no matter how badly recorded it is in situ working on it at the club. This is very basic, very limited hand tools, um, repairing what could be quite a serious issue. If there's nothing special going on here, there's a couple, there's like this one spanner needed here, and an Allen key, and, put, and a soft and a lightweight hammer to knock on a bit of wood to get the key back in so I don't damage it. That's all that's all it took. So if this can be repaired in situ, I know it, now it needs a little bit of time to cure. But there she is, she's done. She's fine. They're not that difficult to work on. Well, I hope someone found that useful and to prove the point that these things aren't difficult to work on. Um, granted, some designs are more difficult to work on than others, but it speaks a lot for the design of a poly that a wheel basically comes loose on the axle and within 20 minutes you can have the thing repaired at the club on the steaming bay with only whatever tools you've got in your, in your toolbox. Um, 
And that's kind of the point why I make a lot of these videos. Partly it was for Dad to watch them, but also to show how not scary or difficult these things are to fix. So normal service will be resumed shortly. But for now, I hope someone found it useful.